I'm back. So I had it um, scrolled all the way at the bottom. And so I couldn't even see myself. It was ridiculous. So it's Monday. Yay. And um, so, I, so it's been such a busy morning and it's only 1030. Um, number one, I think I'm just going to take my glasses off because, okay, so the lighting in my office is bad. And I have this whole lighting kit. And the lighting kit was for another business I had forever, forever ago. And I used to make jewelry. And so I had a whole photography kit for taking photos of the jewelry and selling it online. And so I still have the kit. And so I realized, well, I have terrible lighting in my office. So I have one of those little ring lights that clips, um, but it doesn't give enough light. And so I busted out my whole like photography set thing today. So now I have this this gigantic light blinding me. Um, so I did that this morning. And then if you saw any of my other posts, I, um, I did CrossFit for the first time this morning. Yay, Erin. <laughs> so I am notoriously terrified of CrossFit. I see the people, I see the people running around. I see them very sweaty and in facilities of no air conditioning and throwing tires and it scares me. And um, so one of uh, my clients, she does it, she's amazing. And it works great for her, she looks fabulous. And so while we're all on quarantine, she has an offer going on, just sharing the love, um, giving people a free week of CrossFit. And so I logged on today, they did it through Zoom. And um, the folks that were on there with me this morning were really nice. And uh, the bonus is I could have run around my house if I wanted to, but I have a rowing machine. I actually have like a whole gym at my house. I, ha <laughs> I have everything. And so um, I got to use my rowing machine instead of running. So that was cool. And the warm up kicked my butt, and then I proceeded to do the rest of the workout. So um, I survived. I'm not sure what tomorrow is going to be like. My legs are still kind of like, what did you just do? Like, my whole body really is like, we don't understand. You didn't prepare us for this because when I go all, when I do something, it's, it's all in. So I have to practice pacing myself. So I did that, and then um, I watched. I had my smoothie while I watched my smoothie and let my body um, not hate me as much. Um, I watched Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. I'm telling you, if you haven't seen it, I really hope it sticks because it is the funniest show. I was laughing so hard today and and then, and actually made me cry. But I was laughing so hard today. My husband was just looking at it like, you really, <laughs> you think this is that funny? Yes, I do think it's that funny. I think it's phenomenal. It's kind of a cross between, um, oh my gosh, my CrossFit brain just like forgot the names of the shows. Glee and there's another one. Anyway, it's fun. I like it. I recommend it. And then, um, so that's been my morning so far. And then I have a webinar this afternoon and I have to go to the grocery store today. I ran, it's about time. I'm about out of food. Um, at least I have to find some produce. Um, freezer's good, but the freezer food freaks me out. Um, and then tomorrow, tomorrow, if you saw my video, I did I do it last week? The days, I'm telling you, the days, just go all mash them together, all together. Um, but tomorrow is the last day for the human trafficking special, which <laughs> I shouldn't do this after CrossFit. So for lemongrass spa products, I'm donating 10% of my commissions to Rescue Foundation and they rescue women from sex trafficking. And so that is my global outreach for this month. Um, tomorrow's the last day for that. If you have some questions about the lemongrass products, I am more than happy to answer them because I have an abundant amount of time. Um, 
this time I was trying to think of some more pro some more products that are super helpful. Um, if you and the kiddos are outside in your backyard a little bit more, you might be coming across some more mosquitoes and bugs and critters. Um, so we do have an insect repellent called Bugaboo, and it comes in a spray. It also comes in a stick. Um, so that's really handy for the face and sometimes with the little ones, I don't know if it's easier when they're running by to spray them or swipe them. I, they're too fast for me, I don't know. Um, we do have our tea tree essential oil. Uh, the last time I talked about um, my super calming essential oil, but we have tea tree, we have a hand sanitizer. Um, we've got an aloe vera gel. If you're making your own sanitizers and things, that's a good base. And if you're getting a little sunburn, if you're fortunate and have a pool and uh, just need something to soothe the skin, that's good for that. And then we have our um, our liquid soaps, and we also have bar soaps. And something I learned about today, the other day, there's a whole thing. And Anna, I see you on here. Anna, if you're still on, you will know about this because Anna does all kinds of makeup things, and she's a representative for Cabbie. And um, the clothes are awesome. But there's a whole thing called like a soap brow and um, you take a bar of, of soap and you're, I didn't bring a little wand, but a little like brow wand and you scrape it, you brush it on the soap and then you brush it in your brow and it like plumps them and then makes them stay. It's a thing. It's a trending thing. And our bar soaps are fabulous. Um, I actually, this one... <laughs> Um, I actually cut pieces off of the soap because they get such an amazing lather. And I, Josh, hi, Josh. Josh, I haven't seen you in, it's been many, many years, years. Um, and so, but I slice pieces off the soap and keep them in the shower so the whole bar doesn't get all, it, it makes it last longer because it doesn't disintegrate in the shower. Um, but they smell, this is a tea tree one. It smells so good. Oh, I love them. Um, and then if you want to plan play with makeup while you're off, I mean, we've got a whole skincare line, which is fabulous. Um, the mineral makeups you know, are generally a loose makeup, but we actually just launched some baked versions. So we have a good contour and highlighting um, baked palette and um, eyeshadow pal palettes too. So if you need help with any of that, give me a shout because I'm here, you're here. Um, I can do little demos. Um, we have a new tinted moisturizer coming, which I'm super excited about because I, I'm not a makeup girl. I do not wear a lot of makeup. I don't necessarily like to look like I'm wearing makeup. It's gotta be like a super fancy date night situation. Um, I, I don't even think I have fake eyelashes anywhere. Like they just, <laughs> it's just not my thing. So the tinted moisturizers I love, and we have a new formula that, that just came out and it's just got a little bit of tint. And so you can, you know, put that on and then maybe a little mascara and you're like good to go for the day. So when I get that new and I'm going to do a demo on that, I'm going to order tomorrow with y'all. And um, five minute makeup routine. That's my jam. One, two, three, four, five. Um, I don't know anybody else out there. What else is going on? What's everybody doing besides CrossFit? Zoe's Extraordinary Playlist. Everybody watch it. And Lemongrass to save the girls from human trafficking because it is a big deal. And it's actually a thing in the massage industry. Here in Florida, they just launched the Department of Health. We actually have to post a sign in our establishment in the employee area. It's not in the public area, but in the employee area that gives a hotline number for people to report human trafficking. And if they are in any circumstance, whether it's um, massage, uh, they've got housekeeping listed on their um, restaurant work. It's, I mean, it's unfortunately an issue. So I'm happy to be able to support that group who has saved so many girls. So I hope everyone is having a great day. I know. Oh, good. You get to cycle, Josh. Do you, um, do you get to go out with the family and do that? My, my sister asked if my bicycle, if I still had my bicycle, and I do. I have the same bicycle from when I was 16 years old. 
I love my bike. Um, it's not currently rideable because the tires are flat and it needs a good overhaul, but I love that bike. And every time I take it in to get tuned up, like the bike people like freak out because it's an amazing bike and I love it. Um, and that's what, uh, that's my world today. So I hope everybody is amazing. Again, if you need um, help with any kind of lemongrass stuff, I am happy, happy to help. And um, and again, I put in 10% of my commission to help the girls. And I also throw in um, our facial oil. We have a sample facial oil. I love it. It's a facial cleansing oil. I use it in the shower. Uh, I put that on first thing. You actually put it on dry skin and massage it all in. It dissolves all the dirt, dissolves all the makeup and grit off of your face. And then I wash my hair um, and then wash hair, condition. When I take off the conditioner, I wash that off my face as well. And so when I get out of the shower, my face is not dry. And um, I found my complexion's a little smoother and I love that stuff. I'm a freak for it. Yay, Josh. Oh, 20 miles. That's a long time. I can't, you know, I just did my rowing machine for like 200 meters and I, I had to lay on the floor for like 20 minutes after CrossFit today. <laughs> I got to pace myself. I got to learn to pace myself. All right, you guys, um, there will be more CrossFit pictures tomorrow. Hopefully there will be a smile. <laughs> instead of a catatonic face but you all have a great day and um stay well stay safe and uh i'd say hugs all around but virtual hugs virtual hugs mm -hmm.